Hi guys, I'm Bush Lodifer here, back with another video. And for today, I'm actually doing uh, a what if that, um, um, actually one of my, um, let's just say friend, um, made, um, his channel is Last of Us 21. I consider him as a friend and, um, and um i'm actually making a um part one of my what if deku was raised by a Feistus. yes he was the very first one that made this but i was thinking and uh, it, it, it got me thinking of how can i um differentiate the story to from i mean from lasto uh and i thought and thought and and now I'm here. So, um, there are some points that um, there are going to be some thing that is called that is um like an an exact copy of Lastos, but I'll make it original as possible. So, with that out of the way, let's go on with the story. This is part one of What If Taku Was Raised by a Feistus. So, <clears throat> let's begin the story. The story starts off in in a room with Izuku, which Izuku is at this time is three years old. Yes, he is three years old. He is playing with the, with his All Might figurine and accidentally dropped it in his room under the bed, which. He went down and reached for it, but to his surprise, he just sees white, then black. Then just a few moments later, he see, in just a few, let's just say, in just a few moments later, uh, he just saw this person. Yes, this is Hephaestus. I got the picture from um, last, no, not last, no, Don Machi, yeah, Don Machi, which Izuku was very, very confused, and asked, uh, um, mi mi miss, um, who are you? If I just, if I just, just this, that, oh, uh, um, I'm Hephaestus, the god of, the goddess of forge which izuku just says wait because izuku has read a lot of mythologies and everything even egyptian egyptian mythology greek mythology um norse mythology and basically any kind of mythology that you can think of and i'm putting in my twist and take on this so yeah so izuku says that wait that can't be i thought that hephaestus was a was a guy which hephaestus just says that oh um well you got the the, the mortals have um let's just say made me like a man and it's just an um uh, mistake a mistake that was made by the morals and everything which yeah which yeah after that um he izuku asked a lot of questions why am i here uh what is what is this place and so on and so forth which suffice this just uh just just answers the questions that a um you're you're why am i you are in you are in my forge or technically my forge but this is not the actual forge it's it's actually the let's just say the living area of the forge and and the reason why you are here we actually don't know And she began to explain that uh, she was actually um, 
being um what was it called again um um put to this task by Zeus and the other gods because they're too freaking because they're too freaking um lazy so yeah which which yeah he he's a little bit pissed off is cool is a little bit pissed off because he always thought of gods that are uh, noble uh heartless and everything but from what Hephaestus just said it's it's like um the Greek gods are just lazy people and except for Hephaestus and yeah which Izuku just says that's that's really really awful um what and and why do you oblige with the with this Miss Hephaestus? Hephaestus just says that please just call me Hephaestus my mother and Izuku just says oh uh mom which um puts um melts uh, let, let, let's just say melts Hephaestus' heart because of hearing that from a child and accepting it from for, for the for, f- uh, at the very first try is very very heartwarming that's to any any guy out there even though yes I am a guy even though um you you may all, some guys just say that it's not manly S- same with this if you have a child and they call you papa will will your heart melt that's the question but i know you all know the answer and yeah let's just continue the story which yeah if i see this um heart melts and basically hugs izuku and yeah let's just say about let's he actually let's just say that huh because of this actually put a rune on her ru- a rune on him let's just say the rune was speaking and yeah what he what he has done is there's the speaking and the hearing um rune that he, Izuku can um, speak in that, which um, which through the years he has noticed this and basically asked suffice this that um, mom, can I, can you remove the, can you remove the rune that you have on me? Which suffice was shocked because of, she thought that she actually hit it hit it well, because the the uh the. As I said, this is to the years. Which, don't worry, I will explain some some of Izuku's adventures. So yeah, which let's continue. Izuku just has a normal life. Normal, at a sense to say, because if you think about it, um, Izuku got depressed when uh, when he was let's just say um being bullied and everything being called worthless useless everything which because um he is not bullied because he was actually let's let's just say that getting to know her face this more I wonder What's under the eye patch? The eye patch, and that will that will be explained later. Okay, so let's continue. Which yeah, if I this, um, let's just say this is about when Izuko was eight, uh, eight, ten. I mean ten. Which Izuku learned about how to fight, but yet to forge. Yes, Izuku has yet to forge. He wonders of 
how can he yeah how can he use the forge or how can he make some weapons which as i said through the years he learns how to speak in greek ancient greek to be exact and he he actually taught a Hephaestus how to speak japanese yes Hephaestus now can speak japanese which i know right it's very very odd which yeah um after that izuku um as i said this is when izuku was 10 izuku asks Hephaestus um mom can i can you teach me how to forge which which Hephaestus was shocked because she thought that Izuku would just only know how to fight, but forge as well. And it's and Izuku and Hephaestus just asks Izuku, um, Izuku, um, how? Why do you want to learn how to forge? Izuku just says, "Well, um, first of all, um, it's fun. Second, if my weapon is." broken at least at, at least i can fix it and third i want to be close with you mom which heart melts again and and the face is just smiles and basically rubs izuku's head and basically says sure sure izuku which they which they go to the forge and this is the picture of the forge yes I know a lot of lava, right? Okay. So let's continue. Which the next thing that happens is this: is uh, Ephesus first demonstrates how to um, forge, basically forging a sword, a normal sword to say. Which Izuku, that which Ephesus just says, "It's your turn, Izuku. Now try it." Which before he could go to the to the anvil he just hears a voice basically saying that say my basically saying that <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> basically saying that i know it's it, it's, it's a very deep voice but yeah and basically it could just ask <laughs> sorry, sorry. Who are you? Which the voice just says. <sighs> which he just hears Orn. And the voice just or Orn just says this again. Say my name. And Izuku, I'm not going to do the voice anymore, the, the deep voice, it's, it's going to hurt my throat. And Izuku just says out loud, Orn! Let's just say, light, a light beam strikes down at Izuku, which Hephaestus was very, very worried, and he thought that Izuku died. Which, a few moments later... Yeah, a few moments later, Izuku, the light disappears, and on, as the dust settles, Hephaestus can only see this: a goat man, a goat man with a hammer, and and yeah. If y'all might be wondering, what what Izuku's quirk is? quirk is or not know it based on what I said well it's called legends never die I made this quirk for my um, actually I was thinking of making it for um, what if I was in a mystery but I was thinking of what if that I could separate this from last dose and yeah this was what I came up with 
and yeah. Which after that, um, after that, Izuku is very, very. Let's just say very, very red. Which, if if you don't know what Orange Powers is, um, or haven't read the lore of him, he's actually let's just say, um, he was actually the God of Forge, but he, even though he's immortal, he can still die. Yes, it's it's not like Greek gods that that they need to be in let's just say, Armageddon or something like that. No, they can still die to other gods. That's a thing with, that's a very very thing with um, with all the gods of Le- in League of Legends or L- Legends of Runeterra. They can die, yes, but sometimes, sometimes they can bestow immortal power. Sometimes they can uh, they they cannot be killed except for one person, which. Yeah, he cannot be killed whatsoever. Which that, um that will be for later. Which yeah. Izuku looks down and sees that he's he is very very big. He sees his horns and basically says, Wait, wh- why do I have horns? Mom? Izuku, Izuku just asks Hephaestus, which Hephaestus just replies and basically, uh, Izuku, I, I, I don't know, you just, uh, a, a light, Hephaestus is, is very, very, um, let, let's just say, bebuttled, because she's also very, very confused of what happened to Izuku, because it's not every day that you, you, you transform into this, which Hephaestus will be, um, let's just say, will be um, used to it for for Izuku transforming. Which uh, Izuku tries to um, forge. Which on his first try, he actually fails. And Orn just gives him all of his memories of forging. Yes, all of his memories on forging. Forging the Infinity Edge, Phantom Dancer, the Edge of Night, Yumus Ghost Blade, the Dust Blade, oh, what, what else? The Hextech, uh, no, not, not Hextech, but um, let's just say Phantom Dancer, Static Shiv, Storm Razor, and so on and so forth. Which. Now he knows and chooses one of the base of of what he would do. I mean by choosing a base is that he scrolls to he scrolls from um his orange memories and basically sees a katana which he has yes, this is let, let's just say it's foreshadowing someone as well. But this katana, this this katana is gonna be different from the person's actual katana, which Izuku can actually summon and everything. Which Izuku just forges again, but this time using um lo- looking at Orn's uh, memories of how he forged and everything, which he forges with while he's breathing. I mean by that he is actually breathing fire after he's actually breathing fire then forging it again breathing fire forging it again basically doing that and if I remember a katana is folded 10 times which Izuku folds it 20 times let's just say 20 times and yeah 20 20 of no 10 times, let's just do 10 times, because 
and I don't know why uh, katana uh, katana makers do do that because I'm very very confused as well. And yeah, um, and yeah, let's continue. And yeah, he he forges this bla this katana, this blade, yes, which. Izuku thinks what he what he can do to improve these which he hears a voice again saying that say my name which Izuku instead of or instead of or, like Orn saying the name this voice just reveals him his name in in his mind which Izuku just says rise and transforms into this rise he looks blue right <laughs> yeah right if you didn't know rise is the protector of runes on the legends of Runeterra which um, let's just say that he can engrave rune, runes, and I'll, I'll, I'll be giving him this power, that he can engrave runes as well, and he can make runes, so yeah. So, Izuku, yeah, Izuku just, try, just, let's just say, Oh, sorry about that. Izuku just puts runes on on his sword. The runes are electrocute. Yes, I'll, I'll give you electric domination electrocute. Yes, it's, it's it's basically like a tree. So I'm gonna give him that glacial augment, the inspiration tree. Conqueror from the perspiration tree. Uh, let's see. Aftershock at the resolve tree. And, huh. Uh, what, what was it called? Um, phase Rush for the sorcery tree. And just for added bonus, he transforms. He asks his mom. Mom, uh, can you put a rune in on, on my sword, please? And I've 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 just asked. Oh, uh, son, what rune do you want? And and how do you know how to engrave runes? Which yes, this, this as I said, this is Izuku's quirk. Which Izuku just says, I don't know, mom. I just um. I just um say the name of the person that yeah say the name that the person that the person said and I transform it to them. I think this is my quirk, mom. Because if if I this actually knows about this because as I said that he he is now ten. And Izuku is, um, he's now 10, and actually now is the very first activation of his quirk. So, yeah. Which, if, if I just says, can you speak to them? The voices. Which, yes, Izuku can speak to the voices. It's like compiled into a room. And he can speak to them. Ask for guidance, battle tactics, and everything. Which, he fights this, just, which Izuku just says yes. And after that, he fights this, just puts a rune on it. Which, this is a, which, this is a fire rune. Yes, a fire rune. It, it basically has fire aspect. Izuku just needs to say blaze 
and the sword will light up in flames. And he tries this, and Maisie says, Blaze! The sword from from the hilt up to the blade, the blade's edge. Burn. Sorry, my mic was very very far. As I said, the hilt of the until the hilt of, the hilt of the blade or the guard until the sword edge burst into flames. And yeah. Which Izuku just um, asked Faistus, can you teach me how to sword play? Which Faistus just says, ah, actually no, um, but I know a person that can teach you. And Izuku was very, Izuku has stars on his eyes, and basically Izuku just said, just asked, so who are they, mom? Which Izuku just says, uh, which is not, not Izuku. At first, she just says, oh, it's Athena. Oh, you mean the goddess of wisdom? Izuku said. Yes, the goddess of wisdom himself. Herself, I mean. And yeah. Which they go to Athena. And they actually. Yeah, they actually, um, Athena just teaches him how to sword play. Which, she cannot still believe that he actually made this powerful weapon. Yes. The thing is with the sword, as I said with the runes, I said aftershock, right? When he hits an enemy, yes, it's basically... It has three seconds to power up the aftershock, and basically after three seconds, it will disperse and basically creates a massive crater. And yeah, electrocute, which um when he hits enemy three times, it will basically like like a strike me down Zeus, and basically saying uh and basically like that basically striking the enemy with lightning from above, which. Freaking hurts. Um, phase rush is just when you hit an enemy and run away. It basically give, gives you movement speed, which Izuka thought of this very very well. And after that, um, was the last one, conqueror, which ah, uh, this 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 rune is very very special. Conqueror basically, for every stack of hit. That he deals to his opponent, um, he actually heals with it as well. Yes, he actually heals you, heals as well. Which, yeah, which, yeah, have I, um, have I just was very, very shocked of how Izuku could sword play and once again um but wait wait no later later okay but af but after a few izuku would be uh le let's just say cannot keep up anymore with hephaestus N not hephaestus um uh, athena he can't he cannot run as fast as Athena, which he just hears another voice. Basically saying that. Basic, basically saying saying that. Uh, how was it called again? Um, I here's it. Death is like the wind, always by my side. And after after the the voice says that says that say my name, which in his mind reveals a tornado. This person and mouthing the words Yasuo, which he transforms, saying 
Yasuo! Basically, he transforms into this. Yes, I know I'm making him overpowered, but don't mind it. He, he needs to still unlock all of his potential, so yeah. Which, yeah. Have I this? It's shocked that it's still shocked that she that his son can tr technically quote unquote son can transform into that to the to the goat thing to the blue the blue guy and to this a person with a sword a long sword to say this sword is called the unknown blade. Which, yeah. Izuku first um, hits a Feistus. Uh, not, not, not a Feistus. Hits Athena. But, uh, and yeah. Athena just summons the. Let's, let's just say a bow. Just for plot convenience. Um, Athena just summons a bow. Which. Which. Um. A lot of volley of arrows came, and Izuku just says, "Wind wall!" Slashing the ground, making a wind wall appear. And yeah, he just stabs forward again, and now, uh, wind, um, when let us say wind. Goes around his blade. And Izuku. Just says. Finds for the right moment. And let's just say Athena just trips. Before she can fall. Izuku just says. Hasagi. Making a tornado. Slashing the air and making a tornado. And if. And Hephaestus was very, very shocked because a tornado is not um, a normal thing to do by a mortal. Which, yeah, it's, it's not normal, so yeah. Which, after that... Um, after that, um, let's just say that He just continues and fighting Athena and basically Athena was very very shocked on how Izuku is a very very quick learner. And yeah. Now Izuku is 10 as I said. Let's go now time, time skip. Time skip to let's just say after a few days, yeah, after a few days, which which Hephaestus says to Izuku before the la before the day, um, Izuku before the day comes, um, you need to, and Hephaestus just says yes I know, Izuku just says yes I know mom but. Why do you go to the, go to the party? Yeah, the, it, it's it's going to be a party. Izuku just uh, ask that, and basically Hephaestus just says that eh, it's 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 for God. So um, but Izuku just says with a stern voice, but mom. You you do know right that they dumped all of their problems to you, Olympus, me, and uh, anything else. Which yeah, and have I still still goes with Izuku because he knows that they will get drunk. Which yeah. Through the years, 
through the years of training that Izuku has, he actually develops, let, let's just say, um, he cannot be affected by poison and anything, or toxins. And yeah. Izuku just goes to ha um, the party. And basically, Izuku just um, fights. Oh, no, no, not fights. Izuku just uh, sees that all the gods are there and Athena, which he goes up to Athena and basically says, Auntie. Which, yeah, Izuku calls Athena auntie. And basically, Athena just like, Oh, hi, Izuku. How are you, nephew? Which, yes, he, he's got, let's just say, technically, they're not blood related or anything, but I'm just gonna say this for plot convenience. And basically, yeah. And basically, Athena just says that, um, Athena just says that, wanna spar again next time? Which, Hermes, Hermes, here's this. And, wait, 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 um, Hold on a sec. My bad. Wrong. Wrong god. Ares just hears this and basically said, Hmm, a new challenger has appeared. <laughs> and basically, like that, and basically goes up to Izuku. And basically, Athena just says, Oh no, it's Hermes. It's not wise to. to fight. And uh, Hermes cuts Hermes Ares just cuts him off. Basically says, "Hmm, Izuku, um, can you fight me?" Izuku just says, eh, "When? About two days from now should do." Which Izuku just says that sure, why not? Which, yes. After that, Izuku just. Hmm. Yeah. After that, Izuku just goes and enjoys the party, but. Vices it was to. In, was very, very enjoying the party. She was drunk as heck. Which, when actually Ares just challenges Izuku to a drinking contest, which Izuku chugs one, chugs two, chugs three, chugs four, without even even vomiting, chugs five. Ares is is like with that with Izuku, and when they get to that twentieth, oh god, Ares just throws up, and Izuku just says. Hmm, tasty. Which they were shocked because what the heck? How did this get because because the wine was actually made by Athena. No, Aphrodite. Aphrodite. Yeah. She makes great wine, so yeah. And and they were shocked because not only is, is this kid powerful, but he is also, um, yeah, he is also, um, has, uh, uh, has alcohol tolerance, which, just a few hours later, um, everybody passes out, with, which Izuku just, which Izuku just says, ah, I need to be a responsible one, damn. You guys should be res more responsible. Oh man. Which, except for one person, is not knocked out. <laughs> this person goes up to Izuka and basically says that, "Can you go? Can you go to my room?" And yes, this is Aphrodite. Which Izuka just says, "Um, uh, no." It's Aphrodite just asks why. Um, is 
Easy good this is first of all, you're not my type. Second, um so yeah, second is that eh, I don't really like you that much. Which which after that I was very very shocked because of she's the goddess of beauty. Every guy should be um loving her, but this mortal doesn't which yeah that's very confusing for her which yeah even for me that's that's gonna be confusing so after that um izuku just izuku just got um burp Berated by Aphrodite and he said, please come come to my room. Come with me This is just says please ah, Please no, I have to do something Which yeah, which yeah, he Takes her face this carries her by her, by his arms bride style which you all might be wondering how he can carry them plot convenience Yes he is powerful, yes. It's gonna be strong. Which, yeah, Izuku just carries her home. And let's skip to the next day. Which Izuku just. Which Hephaestus just wakes up and basically has a migraine and basically says, Oh, what happened? Because she is hangover. Which Izuku just says, "Oh, mom, uh, you actually drink a lot, drank a lot last night." <sighs> Not as more as me, though. Which he asks Izuku, "Um, what do you mean? What do you mean?" Izuku just says, "Oh, well, I drank about." I didn't say specifically. They drank twenty bottles. He, him, and Hermes. Hermes just did nineteen. Izuku did twenty. Which, at first, which at first was very shocked. But he says, "How do you? How did you? How? B B C. He he. She's just baffled that Izuku is has alcohol tolerance. Tolerance." Tolerance and yeah Izuku just says oh, um well Due to my training I got a uh, toxin and poison um, Resistance and if I just just bitch slap Izuku and basically says why did you do that? and basically Izuku just says oh mom that hurts. Which if I just says, no shit. And basically, if I just says, so let me get this straight. You were hunting down poisonous, let's just say poisonous animals and poisonous berries, making a making an elixir for it, drinking it, and basically doing it all over and over again am i getting this right which is good just says ah uh, yeah which have I, which have I just says why uh, which is good just says oh well uh, uh, it's because i don't want to be poisoned and is and her face just says, "You don't want to be poisoned, but you poisoned yourself. What the heck?" Which yeah, they they argue and basically they they got um they made up and basically just if I just says, "Just don't do it again." And yeah, let's skip to the fight with Aries. Which yeah. All the gods are watching, yeah, all the gods, because Zeus um, thinks that H A Ares will win, 
But we all know. Hmm. Izuku fights Aries and basically f loses for the majority of the round. For the majority. But. I, I mean by losing is just. He just. It's too easy for her. For Aries. Which uh, Izuku got pissed off and basically hears a voice again. Two voices actually say our name. Which Izuku just says. Izuku just sees a scythe with the words, with the names Cain and Rost. Which Izuku just says, Kane! He sh he transforms a shadowy mist. Um, yeah, a shadowy mist uh, covers Izuku, and basically now the gods all see that Izuku has a scythe, which he shadow steps, going and going through walls, and basically jumping. Um. Aries and again and again and again but Aries noticed the pattern and basically tries and basically tries to hit Izuku but Izuku goes inside him and goes right back out no not in that way get your minds out of the gutter which yeah which, after a few minutes, um, Aries just gets a clean hit with Izuku, but Izuku, Izuku just says, Earth hurts! Because, even though he has a lot of mobility and, and damage, he has no defense. That's a thing. Which, Izuku just says, let's try the other one, the other name then. Izuku just says, Rust. He transforms, transforming into Rust, and and he thought of he fought Ares over and over again, healing himself, healing himself, knocking him up, and everything, which he's not strong enough. But he thought of a way to use them both at the same time which Izuku just says fusion split which let's we just see Rost and Cain a, a fusion of them with Rost on the left side and Cain on the right side and basically they fist bump each other and basically saying that, Ah, oh, Kier, thanks for freeing me, I guess. And Kane just says, yeah, thanks as well. It, which Izuku just says, no problem. Which, is, which they dash forward, be actually, a f yeah, dash forward fighting Ares. And all of the gods are shocked because, yeah, Izuku looks like a demon, as I said. In his shadow assassin form, he has blue eyes. In his, um, let's just say demon form, is red eyes. And Izuku now has blue and red eyes. So, yeah. Which, Izuku just, just defeats Ares. And, yeah. Which Hephaestus just goes up to Izuku and hugs him and basically says, Good job, Izuku. And yeah. Which, technically, he will become the god of war, but... He doesn't want the title, so yeah. He, he's not gonna be the god of war. So, yeah. And yeah, Izuku just... Leaves. Leaving all the gods shocked. Even Ares. Aphrodite. And Aphrodite wants him more. Is your She is actually yearning for, for him. 
and yeah and yeah so that's where i'm gonna be leaving it off um sorry guys if this is very very short um yeah i'm very sorry for that or it yeah or uh, yeah sorry for th for this is, is very short and as i always say like comment subscribe and see you guys later Bye.